Fox News alert this just in. A highly credible whistleblower is alleging that the Department of Justice has evidence that the president of the United States, Joe Biden, was directly involved in a criminal scheme with a foreign national. We're being told that justice has had in their possession a document showing Biden directly exchanged money for policy decisions when he was vice president. Again, a foreign national bribed Vice President Biden in exchange for policy decisions. This isn't just cracked out, Hunter. This is a direct link to the president of the United States. Senator Chuck Grassley, who broke the news, says these allegations are very credible. Listen. We have credible information that this uh, possible uh, criminal activity took place. I do have a faith in the whistleblowers that bring it to me that this document exists. We have a rough idea of what's in the document from the uh, credible uh, whistleblower. We get this information. The document exists, and we'll have to get the document. To this is Grassley's wheelhouse. He doesn't mess around when it comes to whistleblowers. Grassley's the real deal on this stuff. And that's bad news for Biden. This could be hard evidence that Joe was doing political favors for cash. And the FBI and the Justice Department knew it, and they sat on it, just like they did with the laptop for over a full year in the run-up to the last election. And since this is another election cycle for Biden, I guess it was all part of the plan, another cover-up. But now, Oversight Chair James Comer is issuing a subpoena to the FBI and Chris Wray, ordering them to release this document immediately. And Grassley is telling the White House they better not cover it up by classifying it. Do you believe that the subpoena will also ultimately be successful and Chairman Comer will be able to obtain this document? What level of confidence do you have? It'll be successful unless the White House classifies this document. And uh, they better not because I know it's a non-classified document. But they could keep me from getting it by classifying it. But we know the White House is already jumping into defense. Biden's Stephen Miller put out this statement. You ready? Quote, for going on five years now, Republicans in Congress have been lobbying unfounded, unproven, politically motivated attacks against the president and his family without offering evidence for their claims or evidence of decisions influenced by anything other than U.S. interests. That's because they prefer floating anonymous innuendo amplified by the megaphone of their allies in the right wing media ahem, to get the attention and try to distract and deflect from their own unpopular ideas and lack of solutions to the issues the American people actually care about. Whatever. This is yet another whistleblower who fingers Biden as the head of a corrupt political family, taking money under the table from foreign nationals. He's now the sitting president of the United States, but there are hundreds of data points that Joe Biden was acting in in a capitalistic term, I would say the chairman. He's a figurehead. He shows up in meetings, shakes hands, advises, you know, has faith in his team. Effectively, that was Joe Biden's role in the Biden family business ventures and uh, around the world. They're former White House staffers who were on Air Force Two with Biden when he flew to Ukraine to push for gas deals while Hunter was being paid by gas giants. And he has the evidence to prove it, remember? Joe Biden is lying. Joe Biden is a criminal. That's the bottom line. I don't care if he goes to Timbuktu or Ireland or anywhere. He's a criminal. And I've got the evidence. If they put me in front of the grand jury that's right now seated in Wilmington with special prosecutor David Weiss, my testimony becomes the evidence that will put him in jail or will uh, lead to his impeachment. Now, well, a picture tells a thousand words. Here's Joe Biden at dinner with foreign nationals paying his son. What were they paying his son for? They can't tell you. But we have emails describing kickbacks for Joe Biden, 10% for the big guy. And of Hunter setting up White House meetings for Chinese nationals, a guy named Wang. Does that sound like innuendo? We have IRS whistleblowers who say Biden's Department of Justice, they've been slow walking charges against Hunter to protect the fam. Can't say we're surprised when we hear the Department of Justice has been sitting on evidence that Joe was exchanging political favors for cash. This was happening right under Barack Hussein Obama's nose.
Barack Hussein Obama likes to say his administration had no scandals, but his own VP was running a foreign cash register out of his White House? Come on. But it could get worse. Hunter's finances, they're about to get cracked open in an Arkansas court. All because the deadbeat dad's trying to lowball child support payments to his love child. Now, meanwhile, Hunter's been shacking up at the White House trying not to get served. And his sugar brother, you know, the guy who loaned Hunter two mil to pay off his back taxes? Well, we just found out he's been hiding Hunter's assets so a four-year-old girl can stay poor. The sugar brother even took over Hunter's stake in that Chinese company that the White House said that Hunter divested from. And you ready? The Washington Post just now reporting that federal prosecutors just met with Hunter's defense team. And they're very close on deciding whether or not to indict the president's son on tax and gun charges. Now, maybe this is why Joe hasn't been seen in the last 48 hours. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.